Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Eden Zero episode number 7. Alright, the previous episode, uh, we had an amazing, like I, at least I really loved the whole portion where they were uh, explaining to us what actually happened. <coughs> Excuse me, in Planet Normal, where <coughs> the whole um, chronophage thing comes into play and how, you know, the planet in itself is a place where the time is lagging by uh, 50 years they said didn't they yeah 50 years so like that was really amazing i like i myself i'm a big fan of the whole like you know time travel thing the parallel world things and like you know i'm, I'm a really big fan of whichever animes used the, use these kind of like you know science fiction uh like like you know components I really love these things so it was really interesting to see how like you know they had a twist on their like you know this is like a twist in the uh, usual uh, you know time slip that we know where people go back in time or in the future and like parallel worlds this had a little bit of a twist in it where it's like a compartment in our world in in the present time which has like a past like you know setting like 50 years are lagging behind you know, in, in the, that part of the world only. So it was really interesting. I really loved that, you know, portion. And obviously, like uh, by the end of it, we meet Elsie. Uh, she's a, a space pirate captain, uh, princess. They said, I think, yeah. And uh, I don't know what, why, but uh, Elsie is Elsie saying that I'm going to like, you know, uh, sell you guys. I don't know why, but I think that's like a lie because otherwise why would she be particularly looking for Shiki if her like you know main goal is plundering and selling them and like Shiki challenges them uh, like you know Elsie to a battle and Elsie says that okay like let's do it so let's see what happens in this episode and without further ado let's get started with episode number seven yeah seven of uh, Eden Zero so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go planet gilst your ship will be ours <laughs> all right Oh yeah, this space zombies or space octopus, whatever. Tentacle zombies. <laughs> okay. And here's the thing, like she has a skeleton. Instead of her face, now what is this about? Is that a mask? I don't know, like... I said this in the previous episode as well, but either that's a real face or that is a mask. Who knows? It'd be really cool, you know, if that was her real face. I don't know, like, but you know, like, I really like Elsa from Fairy Tale, obviously. So, like, you know, I'm a bit conflicted in the fact if that really turns out to be her face. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Like, I'm really, like, so many characters, I'm sure we'll get to meet each and every one of them. Like, we barely made a fraction of them, I think. Oh, and this girl as well. What was her name? Zhao Mei, I think? Uh, she kind of broke the fourth wall in the fourth or the fifth episode, I can't remember. And said that, oh, like, yeah, like, you're, you see, like, these kind of, like, time shenanigans happening? Ah, yeah, that's normal. Like, get used to it. <laughs> okay. All right. Worship of worship of the demon king. Oh, uh, okay. What the? So 
That is her real face. Oh my god, she also has a tentacle. What the hell? Ha! Oh damn. Scar octopus. I prefer the term tentacle, you know, instead of octopus. So. <laughs> oh! Wow! Damn, she repelled it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. Is this where we're going to see how he learns gravity magic? Oh my god! Oh! He didn't drag it! <laughs> oh, damn! Hmm. Daily training and experience. Hmm. I must. I. Okay. Wait. Was that gravity? Yeah. Yeah. Like. Surpassed. It's a grandson of our oh, okay of the Okay Okay Muda <laughs> Wait. Oh, this is the... Uh... Yeah. So, she, so, the grandfather died. Gravity Comet. Okay, so this is what happened to him. Recons oh, uh, what are these? <laughs> oh, these are the cops, I'm guessing? Or, or space cops, whatever. Justice. Abnormal ether reading. Oh, must be shaky. Creed. Damn, justice victory. Oh, so he tried to go. <laughs> He's even more. Wow. <laughs> oh, damn. The goddess. 
वो ओ माय गॉड द डीमन वाओ ओ माय गॉड शी इज टू ओवर पावर्ड आई कैन फील दिस डैम लाइक लाइक at least in fairy tale nasu could have never beat erza like you know but like obviously this is not erza and this is not nasu but still you know wow it repaired <laughs> yo he <laughs> defeated her i was not expecting this seriously like so <laughs> Okay. Is that really LC? Oh, okay, there you go. I was thinking like it would not be so easy. <laughs> uh, oh, what the? What is that? What the hell? Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that answers the question. <laughs> What the? Oh no! <laughs> so this is not her ship. Oh, yeah, they they basically <laughs> hired them for cleaning this place. <laughs> There you go. I was thinking like it would not be that easy to defeat Elsie. Partner. Ooh. Oh damn! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah, the the. the... Okay, there you go. I was thinking. I'm sure she has some connection with her his granddad. Oh, there you go. So his name is Jiggy. It's way back. Okay. Oh wow! There's there's some new people there with him. Well, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh wow. Damn. Mm, yeah. Hmm. benefactor okay okay <laughs> yeah true yeah yeah uh, that was a uh, half yeah half <laughs> yeah, yeah, half, half. <laughs> oh, what? Well, <sighs> okay, let's. Oh, <laughs> wow! Damn, this is. How? <laughs> She has a huge group. Interstellar Union Army. Yeah. 
<laughs> Hammer of Justice. This thing really reminds me of the whole thing with Elsa and Jalal, you know, like in Fairy Tale it was opposite how like, you know, Jalal was the criminal and Elsa was kind of like the person who was trying to stop them. Damn. Yeah, like. <laughs> All right. Yeah, true, you know. Yeah, that means you're also my friend. <laughs> there you go. Will be bo Oh. Damn, these are some. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is Jalal. Like, you know, like. <laughs> wow, god damn. <laughs> yep, that is Jalal and Ursa. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh, okay. That's nice. Yeah, you need to clean this place up as well. <laughs> oh, what the? E4? <coughs> oh, this is that, that girl, um, we see in the opening. So she was in this, uh, ship. No, you, you have that. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> so that's like the reason why this place is so untidy, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking. Mm. Oh, this is a bath, okay. Yeah, it is. Uh... <laughs> Damn. Wow, they completed cleaning so quickly.
<laughs> Wait! Wait, what's happening? Oh! <laughs> oh! Yo! Oh! Stop that! Oh! This is a <laughs> this is an auto repair function. This shape. That's really nice. Wow, this place is amazing. Like you know, a tree in, in the middle of a bar. Just imagine. Oh, damn! <laughs> yeah, he looks like a I don't know. Hmm. Years of practice. Like that bath is so like you know. <laughs> like the, the bath was really okay. Let's just. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Little? Is that a map? Yeah, it's a map. Oh. Oh, what the? It's a... Oh, is this? Yeah, that, that's it's that girl we saw. The witch of the. Which? I'm an android built by Okay. Oh. <laughs> Why are you? Yeah, okay. Oh, are you gonna, are you gonna see some cleaning magic? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cleaning magic. <laughs> wow. Oh. It's transforming. Oh. Ah, there you go. Eden Zero. Yeah. There you go, the title drop. <laughs> wow, so, so this was the intro of the show. I'm guessing, like, you know, up until now. <laughs> okay, great. I was not expecting them getting the ship so quickly, you know? Like, it's the seventh episode? Yeah, so that was really quick. And I, I thought that LC would, was going to, um, like, you know, join their crew, but that's probably not, not going to happen. She's more like, uh, you know, um, I'm guessing, uh, what can I say? Like, uh, uh, what can I say? Like, a senior, um, like, you know, a, a friend who has a like, goodwill. Uh, like you know, uh, Shiki and her the friends, their goodwill in mind. Like something like that. Like uh, like you know, a big sister type of a character, most probably. <laughs> I, I have to talk about a few things here. Like you know, um, 
now okay so another thing so they have two ships now like obviously that like the other ship um the little ship that fish ship of rebecca that's like uh you know uh, a small portable ship i'm guessing like they're going to use that to go into like you know places where this big ship cannot get in or something i don't know so all right this the end yeah that's the end all right so okay so this uh, episode um my uh like, you know prediction kind of was true in a way because uh like as i said like they were uh like test testing them now like i kind of said that like they must be testing them because obviously like why else would lc um ask for shiki in blue garden if their like you know target was to sell them so yeah now i was also like at the beginning i thought that really was her face like in the skull face but that was like a mimic as she said so like yeah and uh <clears throat> another thing the whole uh the army that the, what was it called interstellar police force or whatever like that are uh, that army of the, those like you know those uh like justice uh what else was the name uh justice vict victory i don't know something like that but like those characters like <laughs> obviously like it's the equivalent of Erza and Jalal like but the only thing different here is like uh, Jalal was kind of like the obviously in the beginning of the show was like the criminal group or bad character in a, in a way like the antagonistic characters uh, whereas like Erza and like you know Natsu Grey they were like the Lucy they were like the uh, like the guilds like you know it was one of the in the one of the guilds they were like the people who are inside of justice now it's it's a reverse here in a way because like you know pirates as they say like the pirates are at, at least according to the law the pirates are bad pirates are the enemies even though like you know they're just pirates uh yeah they plunder stuff like obviously but in, in like you know like as like they are allies with shiki but obviously they are not allies like you know they they cannot be allies with anyone else uh who are in the side of justice so like it's like a thing like this now <laughs> the really surprising thing in this episode was when uh, oh I, i'm forgetting his name his his name was justice wasn't it uh the guy with the the white-haired guy mm, yeah justice so he like he nowhere looks like Jalal, you know, but when his ether activated, I think that was his ether, wasn't it? Like, you know, the thing that was happening, he was glowing blue. <laughs> he transformed into Jalal. <laughs> oh my God, that was something. All right. Like, I, I was kind of like, you know, I was thinking like, oh, these two, you know, like Justice and Elsie, they really like, it seemed as if they were like, you know, had the relationship of like Jalal and Erza in a way. <laughs> and then I was like, you know, surprised when I see him literally turning into Jala. <laughs> the next scene. Wow. And uh, <clears throat> so it's more like, uh, you know, like they'll be like at each other's throats, I'm guessing, obviously. And like, who knows? Uh, like, we might, like, um, I, I at least, like, I thought that maybe Ursa is going to join our group. I think that's probably not going to happen. Because obviously she herself has such a big group. She'll be like one of the, I'm guessing, the side characters. Like the main characters we can see obviously are um, Chicky, Rebecca, Happy, uh, Wise. This the lady that came out. I don't know her name. They did not. Did, did they mention her name? She 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 uh, referred to herself as the witch. I think is that her name? I I don't know. But anyways, um, like she and obviously the other characters which we are seeing in the opening, uh, you know, I think that that girl is also going to get added. The girl who looks like Wendy, a lot. not Wendy, sorry, um, who has a, a like, you know, blue colored hair, looks like Kagura a lot, uh, has like, uh, you know, a Japanese katana and her uh, like clothes are also like, uh, um, you know, a Japanese attire, traditional Japanese attire, something like that. So. <clears throat> I'm guessing she's also going to get added in, in this group as well. So these are like the main characters and 
Elsie is probably not a, a, a one of the main cat. He's he, she'll like you know turn out like you know kind of come now and then in different episodes and like and she'll not stay. Obviously, like if, uh, like if there's some character act which heavily involves her, obviously we'll, we'll like see her a lot more. But other than that, I'm guessing she'll be like the occasional like person who comes and goes. <coughs> That's really, uh, quite a disap like you know like I like I at least feel like quite uh, sad about that because uh, obviously like Elsa is, was like one of my one of the best characters of fairy tale, but you know like <laughs> yeah anyways so okay let's see what else happened in this episode um all right so they like she tested them and she as she said that she was the uh, uh, Demon King Ziggy, Shiki's grandpa, he was the benefactor of her and they met when he was coming back from Madhul. Another important thing in this episode which was told, anyone who goes and reaches mother will be born again. Now, okay, so that's a really, um, like, what can I say, a unique type of a, uh, I don't know, like such a unique thing. Like I've, I've, I've never heard, like, like seen any anime employ something like this. You know, like if you reach a goal, you'll be born again. Like you know, like usually uh, how it goes. Like if you reach a goal, you'll either get, you know, become the king, or like you know, if you reach a goal, you'll either get, uh, you know, respect from the whole world usually something like this so the reward is something like this like either like you know you uh, get more fame or you you know become the leader you become rich or you get a lot of power something like that but this is quite unique you know it's like the end goal. i don't know if like we don't even know if that is true or not like it's just something that uh like, you know uh, his grandpa said who knows like maybe that's not quite it maybe this is something different thing and it's just something that is usually told that yeah if you go there you'll be born again but still like you know it's a really interesting concept as to like you know like the main goal of this show obviously is reaching mother and if they do that they'll be born again i don't know how they like you know are going to expand this and what like you know changes in the story will happen because of this thing I'm really interested in this, like this whole thing was to like what's going to happen as like, you know, obviously they won't reach mother anytime soon. <laughs> it might be like, you know, five and I, I don't know, if, I don't even know how, you know, uh, how many chapters uh, uh, Mashima even plans to, um, uh, you know, make this story, make the manga. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I don't even know if she said anything about this. Like if it is nearly as big as fairy tale, who knows? Maybe it will be like you know, two hundred episodes or five, uh, three hundred episodes later. Like they'll probably be very close to mother, but still not reach mother. And by the end of it, they'll reach mother, something like that. So it's a long, like you know, it's going to be a long while later. So still, it's really interesting to think, like you know, this like the thing that like yeah what is this mystery kind of thing like yeah if you go there you'll be born again what does that even mean you know i will you be like you know uh after you die will you born be born again is is that what is that what it means so like you know like uh, all these kind of things who knows another thing shiki like obviously we knew that shiki is not from planet <clears throat> grand so like it's confirmed in this episode that he's not from someone from here he was found by uh, demon uh, demon king ziggy and he brought him here so that he can raise him now like another thing like you know as they said like uh, as elsie said that uh, ziggy came back because he wanted to raise shiki now that's a really like you know what can i say um uh, you know like uh, like oh, like a really nice thing I, I i can say like like imagine like <laughs> like may, like you know in animes we always see these kind of like, you know these kind of characters who leave you know <laughs> leave their children and go out on uh, like you know who knows where 
and the child usually grows up alone that's basically all shonen main character's story like <laughs> especially um <laughs> like i want <laughs> you guys can understand which anime i'm talking about is like you know most of the animes is something like this like the the the, the little main character he grows up all alone you know either his parents his or her parents are dead or no one knows where they are and there's this usually one caretaker who brought him up as you know uh, when he, from when he was a child and that's it like <laughs> most basically most of the animes but it's really nice to see an anime <laughs> where the, you know where the, the the character like the the, uh, the grandfather uh, here comes back to a place to raise that character you know instead of leaving him and going on his own merry way <laughs> i don't know like like this is like really something um like it's really nice like he like basically what he did is like he was going on this grand adventure and who knows probably he might have reached mother but i'm guessing on the way they found shiki and he decided that okay like i have this like you know i found this child i have a responsibility now like i i won't go to mother anymore let's go back to our home to granville and for the rest of the life that i have left like they said that he knew he was going to die the rest of the lives that i have left i'm going to dedicate my time to raise this boy like <laughs> that's really nice like, especially for a shonen anime where usually we see the main characters parents or whatever like leave them <laughs> i don't know like that's really good <laughs> and uh, also like uh, the the ship is really nice i have to say like uh, it's such a great like you know addition um like especially the, the bath i was really impressed with the bath you know there's like a whole tree in the middle and obviously the outside of like you know the upper um thing is like you with all with glass and you can like see the outer space from it you know and uh, uh, the water is quite nice there's like a, a tree leaves in the water and all and it's like a huge place like such a great like you know uh, like place the ship is and uh, also another thing we saw is that the ship has an auto repair system at least the outer side like we saw like when she like you know break the whole place down uh, the, the 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 outer you know the the outer uh, surface of the ship also got damaged and the inner layers of the ship also got damaged only the outer layer repaired itself obviously because like you know uh, if the outer layer is not repaired like they would be sucked out into space so it's like an emergency i'm guessing auto repair system and obviously the, the, the inner, inner layers that she destroyed was not repaired i think wasn't it yeah so it's like the emergency like you know auto repair system or something yeah and uh, okay what else and also by okay and in the end we see this lady um she i think she introduced herself as witch isn't it? just a sec apologies for the late introduction i am the one who manages this ship i'm witch one of the demon king's foreshine okay i probably <clears throat> missed this while i was reacting to this i'm witch one of the demon king's four shining stars okay so this opens up a lot more possibilities here she says that she is one of the four shining stars of the demon king now obviously demon king was ziggy but now the um, responsibility is on shiki like the the you know everything has been transferred to him he's the demon king now i'm guessing at least so like yeah he's the demon king when he sat down on the throne like it, it recognized himself like you know him as a master and like everything happened so yeah so she's one of the demon king's four shining stars so i'm guessing three more people like this will be added you know who will be i'm guessing called uh like the shining stars i'm guessing like so all right so they'll, they'll I'm, I'm guessing there will be like the bodyguards or something of the demon king and as she said like she like has the responsibility of um 
of this ship i'm guessing the well-being of the ship like cleaning and everything maintenance and all so <clears throat> like so like i'm sure like there like three more characters will be added in the future who will have some kind of responsibility you know pertaining uh, like you know revolving around the demon king or something like uh, just like uh, like you know this girl uh, uh, witch like she has the uh, um, responsibility of the ship you know that is something related to the demon king some other character might be introduced in the future who will have some other like you know responsibility which will be somehow related to the demon king so they're like basically like the um, bodyguards or the secretary of the demon king i'm guessing <laughs> these four shining stars uh, as she said yeah and all right so and then the whole like you know okay um and then the ship changed uh the name uh ether drive eternal navigation ship or eden's zero okay good good that's so that's like the um, what do you call it the full form of the show i doubt i can remember this whole thing <laughs> like you know ether drive eternal navigation ship uh, I think I can remember. Who knows? Let's see. But anyways, like obviously, like it's in short form, it's called Eden Zero. So and it completely transformed. So yeah. So this was really like the uh, ship of the Demon King, not uh, like you know, as as he said. And uh, yeah, that was great. So we like I thought like we were going to get like you know Elsie as uh, a teammate but that's not how it happened we got a teammate obviously new teammate but she is a different character she is the witch so and we're probably going to see lc like you know now and then she'll probably be a recurring character but not be one of the main char characters i'm guessing and yeah all right also another thing mm this guy uh justice he really looks like a character in this show uh, that character who is shown in the ending you know also in the opening um the girl with white hair like i i think she looks like she looks a lot like what was her name i forgot um was her name Biska? just a sec yeah 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 biska biska wasn't i forgot her yeah she looks a lot like the younger biska doesn't she let me just like it's been a while i've seen fated so i kind of forgot uh, you know the the biska who was like the who met with yeah 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 there you go there you go yeah she like uh, like i'm talking about the girl we see in the ending and the opening you know with white hair um who looks a lot like justice i'm guessing they're related somehow just a sec. <coughs> um, yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Like in the ending, like when we see like uh, Rebecca, like and with and a lot of characters, we see Rebecca with a girl who has like a baseball in her hand, baseball bat in her hand. She has like really short hair really short kind of hair white hair she is and she looks like <laughs> one of the street punks you know <laughs> she looks just like biska when she was young you know obviously like when biska joined fairy tale she like you know put her hair down she like you know kept her hair long and changed her hairstyle and everything like uh, wore a hat but the Biska, well, the, the Biska, uh, like, you know, Elsa met when she, like, they were younger, you know, that Biska I'm talking about, like, they look just the same. I was thinking, like, I, I like, all the while, like, all these episodes, when I saw, like, this character, this white-haired girl, uh, in the opening and also in the ending, I was thought that this girl reminded me of someone, like, I could not put my finger on it, like, who was it that this girl reminded me of? Today I can realize it like she looks like Biska completely like the younger Biska so yeah anyways that's just a little observation and also she looks obviously she looks a lot like Justice I think so yeah so I'm guessing that they're related somehow are they like sis like you know brothers and sisters who knows yeah 
we'll, we'll get more answers i'm guessing so yeah that was it so that was this episode um uh uh you know another thing like like i'm just comparing this with fairy tale like uh, but you know it's really fun to do that um shiki like when he got his clothes completely got destroyed <laughs> that was a great moment from fairy tale you know she was like like he was like oh where where are my clothes I, like i need to get some clothes <laughs> that was a full gray moment so yeah anyway so yeah guys that was it thank you guys for watching this was uh, my reaction to eden zero episode number seven so yeah guys if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and also subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed i think we're almost at 500 subscribers for like you know 496 or something and the last time i saw so it will really help and comment down below your opinions about this episode or anything you want to say i'll definitely check them out so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Eden Zero. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.